better to... <laughs> Hi, we're back. Sorry, we had technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. First video. So, we are going to show you guys some fidget spinners. Do you guys have these? Do your kids have these? Because um, whether or not they're safe and lead-free is an important thing to ask yourself because these are being imported from China with probably minimal regulation, and we're going to do a test. Yeah, and they also, the ones we have here, the boxes have a warning that says... Um, Choking hazard, not intended for children. I don't know if I can get. Ooh. Okay, well, it's, <laughs> you do that. <laughs> um, not intended for children under three, and I know not intended for children under eight. Um, anyway, these were sent to me by a friend, new in the box, and I did just test them, so we know what to expect. But we're gonna sh share uh, this with you in real time, just the one test. Um, this this one right here. Uh, which is a two-sided one with lights that I'm not exactly sure how they turn on. I think you press them or something when it spins or something, it, it, they randomly go on, sort of. Um, so there's batteries in here, there's also a seam, and there's a lot of different components to test. So I'm going to put um, this one here. We've already tested the pillow and the box behind it. They're negative, so they're not going to interfere with the readings. And we calibrated the instrument. and. Um, I'm gonna do a 30 second test. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show you these. This one came out negative. I thought it would be positive, but it wasn't. And um, this one also came out negative. And I could do more tests. I did a few tests on each one, but um, this is like a hard plastic. And I thought, well, it's hard plastic. It doesn't look like it has paint per se. So that's gonna be negative. The thing that I was concerned about on this was the metallic paint that is very similar to um, Mardi Gras beads and uh, so I was surprised that this one was negative, but this one is positive and here we have a fail at 1711 plus or minus 63 parts per million lead and the mercury <laughs> is 52 plus or minus 20 parts per million mercury um, No cadmium though. Thank God. Right. <laughs> so for people who don't know tell us about the um, Consumer Product Safety Commission standard for lead in yeah. items intended for children. So items intended for children should be no more than uh, 90 parts per million lead in the coating or no more than 100 parts per million lead in the substrate. And so we don't know for sure whether or not this is the coating or not. The interesting thing, I did test the other side and the other side was negative for lead here, positive for lead in these two spots. And these two spots, I believe it's either the LED has lead or um, it's something to do with the battery. And, and, and in the 5,000 parts per million range for lead here, and again, that might be because of the batteries in there. It's hard to say without dissecting it. But then the interesting thing is I also tested the edge. So that would be like what the paint reading might be without some of the higher levels. And it was 166 parts per million lead, plus or minus 17. And the mercury was 26 plus or minus 11. Um, and then when I tested this side, it was negative for lead, mercury, and cadmium. And this was just uh, 2,449 parts per million lead is another test. You can find out more information about this. I'll probably do a blog post about it. And so Carissa at um, creativegreenliving.com. That's Carissa. And I'm TamaraRubin.com. And uh, we'd also love to m test more of these because I've only got three examples. And I'd love to s test all the different brands and kinds and colors and see which other ones might have lead. And if this is just the leaded one because of the battery situation, although it looks like it might have some trace in the paint as well. So if you want to bring me some this weekend to test at my house in Portland, Oregon, send me a private message and, uh, and we'll make arrangements for me to get those from you to test. Thank you. And back to Carissa. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. And um, like Tamara said, please uh, get in touch with her uh, through Misled America's Secret Epidemic so that you can um, get your fidget spinners into her hands and she can tell you whether or not they're lead free and um, especially if you know what brand or where you got them so that when we find safe ones too we can tell you guys about that as well yeah okay. and just a quick recap uh no lead no lead lead yep all right thank, thank you, you. Bye.